Hello folks and welcome back. Now, just to state the obvious, we are building up to a scenario whereby we are reading data from our API, updating, creating, deleting, all of that stuff, and I've been showing you different parts of the jigsaw here basically, so how to set up the API, and in the last video we looked at services, uh, we've looked at, no we never, we looked at NG4, <laughs> and in this video we're going to look at services, okay? So the vibe is something like this. So far, we have our authors coming in from the component. That's the author-manage.component.ts thing, okay? Now, remember, in a real website situation, we would never dream of doing this. This is just rubbish on so many levels. And um, obviously, we would like to read from a database. And as a matter of fact, even having this stuff stored in authors-manage is kind of uncool. This stuff here should ideally be coming from the author component. And not just any old part of it, but we want to have a file inside our shared folder. And it's going to be a service file, right? We're going to create an Angular service. So the vibe is pretty straightforward. Whenever any part of the website needs to do some kind of query on the author collection or the author database table, it's going to do this via a service, okay? Now, a lot of the stuff in this tutorial is actually going to be quite heavily influenced by Traversi. Thank you very much, Traversi, okay? But one of the little differences that I have with him is just to do with site structure. And I'm not saying that the stuff I'm doing is better or worse or anything like that, but um, he likes to have a folder called services and have all of his services in that folder. I personally prefer to have the services inside the shared folder and I'm not alone in that and I'm not saying it's better or worse in many ways I think the Traversi way is kind of easier but uh, I, I think that the this is just the method I'm going to use and that's it no speech required okay so I'm going to generate a service it's going to be inside the author component and instead of having the, these users, or pardon me, authors coming from here, we're going to have this stuff coming from the service. Can you handle that? Okay, so let's create a service. I'm inside the terminal here and we can do this via the command line interface. So I have stopped the server and I'm all ready to rock. And you know what I'm going to do for this tutorial, just for a little change? Let's bring up, shall we, the Angular user guide because I'm delighted to show you this just so that you know where it's coming from and that it's not black magic or something. I'm very happy to just walk through this, right? So you can see the vibe here. It tells you how to do this and it's all very cool, right? Uh, we can just do ng generate servers. And then we chuck in the path, okay? Now, is there anything else we need to know here? Let me just check. ng generate service. Oh, yeah, and there's a dash dash module equals. And then you can chuck in the name of the module, okay? So in this case, the module that we have is called app. Uh, if we look back, see the folder? App, right? So, enough waffling. Let's do this. It's going to be ng gs for generate service. Where's it going to live? Well, let's just quickly remind ourselves. It's going to live in components, author, shared. So components, author, shared. And the name of the service is going to be author. Okay, it's the author service. Then I'm going to say dash dash and instead of saying module equals, I do believe we can just say m equals, and then I'll just say app, right? So here we go. Okay, fingers are crossed. <laughs> okay, and we can see on the screen what it's done here. It says it's created a thing inside uh, components, which is called 
uh, author.service.spec, right? We don't need that, that's just for testing, right? But then it's created the actual service file. Yeah, here it's here. It's inside shared, author.service.ts. And also, because we added that M equals app, it has updated module, app.module.ts. Let's have a quick look at that, shall we? So if we look at app.module.ts, you can see the service is being imported here. And if you scroll down, you'll see that we now have a provider in and this author service is one of the providers. Let me say that again. We have an array of providers and one of the items on this array happens to be our author service, right? So that's what happened and look at this. Here's the shared folder upstairs here and here is the service file. Very simple and nothing too dramatic here. Okay, so do you like short videos? Me too. I'm going to take a little break for a few minutes and I'll catch you in the next video.